Hi, welcome to Code Hunters. Today we will try to solve a very common problem. The problem is to get a string between two strings. So suppose we have a string which is something like that. So the complete string is example of a string colon text to keep colon end to a string. So what we want to achieve here is to keep this text so that we can use it later in our workflow. So let's uh, see how we can do this in UI path. So I will close this out and let's jump into our UI path and start creating our workflow. So let's create a new process and we will call it as extract string and in the description we will type extract string between two string and we will create it. So now our process has been created. Let's open the main workflow. So here, first of all, we'll create a sequence. And let's rename it as string. So for this, we need uh, four assign activities. So let's drag and drop those here. So first I will drag and drop the assign activities. Then I will create the variables and assign them. So now I have four assign activities. So the variables will be, the first variable will be our complete input string. Okay. The next will be our start string. So from where we want to start our uh, extraction. So we will add here. And then we will have the end string. It will have like till what time. Uh, it will, it will hold like till what string we want to extract this string and now when we will be need the result hold the result that will be extracted string okay all these will be variable type of of a string so let's assign them so first is input string and my string is this is the complete string example of a string text to keep end of a string and now the start string I want to keep so I want to start after this so I will copy it and paste it here and then the end, end string so the end string will be and either I can keep only one word or I can give the complete sentence as well in the both the cases this will work so let's give complete string and so now we have the input string this we know where to start the extracting and tell what uh, we have to extract that we have now we will need to get the start and end point of the string in an integer so let's drag and drop two more assign activities and we will create two more variables it will be start from and and to and these two will be integer type because it will return us the start and end point so let's first assign start from and here so I will open this expression editor and I will type it here and what we need we need the start point in integer so we need index of in the index input string and we need the start string plus the length of start string okay. so this will return as the start uh, the integer value from where we need to start the extraction of the string same way we will need the end to and I will open up the expression editor and here we need the input string and the index of the end string okay so this is now done so now uh, we have all the required things so now we can start extracting the string that we wanted 
as we have the extracted string variable, we'll assign the output into the variable. So we'll get the extracted string into this extracted string variable. So we'll open the expression editor and let's. So what we need here, we need the extracted string. For that, we will need the input string dot. We will use the substring function. And here we will need to provide the start integer which is our start string start form and the next is we need the length so the length will be the n2 the n2 minus the start form so this will give the string between the these two string so now we have the value extracted value into this variable so let's use a message box to display this so the extracted string is will concatenate extracted string so we are now done let's try to debug this workflow and yes we got our extracted string back as expected you can now use this extracted string variable in your workflow. So this workflow can be used as a reusable component. In any project where you want to get a string between two strings, you can invoke this workflow and you are done. But we have another easy way so that you will not have to include this workflow every time you need in every project. So what we can do is we can create this workflow as a library and once it's created as a library, we can import them as an activity. So let's see how we can do this. So what we'll do, we will close this workflow and then close and create a new library and we will name it as string manipulation and string and let's create so our library has been created let's go to the project panel and uh, we will need to import our last workflow click on uh, we can right click on the project name and we can click on import workflows our last workflow is extract string so that has been imported so it has imported as main.xml we will rename it to extract the string click ok and this one we don't need so we'll delete this okay. let's open this one here we just need to convert some of these variables to arguments so what variables we need to convert uh, so we will need to convert these three input string, start string and end string also the extracted string this will be as an output uh, argument so to convert a variable to argument you can just right click and click on convert argument and it will automatically convert it as an argument okay. so we will do for all these convert argument and then come again end string convert argument and then stack it convert as argument okay as uh, these three variables arguments are needed so if we click on these arguments and go to the properties we can see it has is required checkbox so we can check it so it will be a required parameter for this activity and as uh, these arguments will be provided by the user so we don't need these three assign activities here because these will be these will come from the argument so we'll delete those we have uh, all the required assign activities and also we don't need this message box as uh, this uh, this will return us uh, the extracted string in an extracted string out variable so we'll have to create it as out and now our this library has been created we will go ahead and publish it so the package name will be string manipulation and you can publish it to your orchestrator as well and also you can publish it to your custom uh, your local machine using custom url so i have given this path 
system activities I'll select the folder and I will click the publish button so now uh, this library has been published successfully we can close this library and we'll create a new process so that we can test it let's call it as test process and click create so our test project has been created let's open the main workflow and now we need to add that package where it's published uh, from our library so to add the package go to manage package and here you can see i have added a custom uh, local custom feed so to add this you can go to your settings uh, panel and give the source name and the path of your folder and then it will appear as here so you can see i have uh, i can see uh, my sting manipulation activity uh, package here i will just click on install and save so now uh, the package has been added you can see it here so let's go to our activities panel and here you can see uh, we have another category called sting manipulation and we can drag and drop this activity here and it ex expect us uh, the three parameters so the input string I uh, will give the input string as let's extract this so we want to extract this value and the start string will be in our case it's let's and the end string will be this it also needs an output parameter output variable we will give this as uh, test result and we'll display it using a message box so we'll give the here as test result so now uh, once we debug this we should get the extract in a message box so let's debug and here it gives us the extracted value from our string so let's check it with some lengthy string so this time let's get one two three as extracted okay we'll want one two three so the start string will be get and the end string can be as or as extracted whatever you want so let's give the as and now let's debug this so we should get one two three as output so one to three as output as expected you can sh share this package to other people and they can include this package into their workflows and they can use this as an activity and they will just need to provide the parameters and they will get the, get the result so this brings to the end of this session hope you like this one see you next time